Hey everyone, what's up? I'm sitting here at a red light in Waianae. Just got done with my son's baseball game this afternoon. And I packed up my gear real quick and I said, you know what? I'm gonna go shoot for goats real quick. So we're headed up to Makua Keao. We're gonna go chase goats. All right, let's roll. All right, folks, I've had a bunch of people ask me, hey, how do you get there? How do you get to that spot on Oahu where you hunt goats, okay? You're gonna head all the way up on the west side. You're gonna go past Makaha, all right? Past Makaha Beach. And you're looking for this sign right here, all right, this rock. And then you need to get the gate code to get in that, where to go? Right there, right there. You gotta have the gate code to get into that gate, all right? So you need to call DLNR, Department of Land and Natural Resources, the hunting department, and get the gate code to actually access this spot. You're looking for that right there, and then you go goat hunting. Let's do it. Okay, another question I'm asked is, where do I go once I'm in the gate? Okay, so you stay on the hardball road until it gets to the end right here. And if you look way off to the left corner, left side of the screen behind that truck, you'll see the signs, okay? And this is where you park. You park at the end of the hardball where it dead ends to that gravel road. And you get in that gravel road and you start walking to the hunter check-in spot to a mailbox. That's where we're headed next. Hey, all right, folks. So here we are. Getting out of my coaching baseball uniform. Putting on a little camo, a little aloha flage here. Um, just packing up. Okay, one of the main things you want to bring when you come out here, water. Okay, I didn't have any water bottles, so with me any canteens or anything so i just stopped at the store picked up plenty of water i got a gatorade as well plenty of snacks okay because once you start hiking around up in here um if, if you get hurt or you get trapped out there some for some reason you need to have a few supplies all right so i always bring like the basics the first aid kit the water uh, some snacks rope some something to cut with flashlights um and not just one flashlight with one battery but maybe a flashlight a spotlight and something else you know a backup a secondary and tertiary means of signaling also, what I do is right before I leave here, I'm going to send a couple texts out to a couple people I'll let them know where I'm at, which side of the valley I'm going to go on, where I'm going to hunt goats. So if something happens, at least they have a direction of where to look for me and they're not just uh, hiking around or sending helicopters or something out there to find me out in the middle of nowhere. So uh, that's what I'm doing right now. I'm going to pack up, get all this loaded up, and we're just going to start walking in there. We're going to hike up in there. It's the end of the afternoon. It's about uh, 3 o'clock in the afternoon right now. I want to get in there as fast as I can and start getting up and start working into where the goats are. All right, it's a misty rain today, so it's going to be slick. It could be a little dangerous. Um, so I'm going to take my time, um, really pay attention to what I'm doing. Um, but it could be good because it's not so hot, not so sunny, and maybe those goats will be out moving around and uh, checking things out. Maybe I'll get an easier shot than having to get, get up too high. So, okay, with that being said, let's roll. Let's go get a goat. Okay, so here's what you're gonna do. You're gonna walk by some horses, all right? Like a trail ride, trail ride outfit. Once you park, you're gonna walk by the horses and you're gonna come up on this right here. All right, the sign-in box. There's the sign and the little map for the hunting area, all right? And from here, you can sign in and you can basically you can go, go right up the middle. You can go around to the left and get way back in there, kind of hunt the left side. Most guys, they go and they hunt way up here on the right. They get way up on that ridge up there or along the, the side of that ridge and hunt that mountainside to the right. But hey, any day is different. I've seen goats all over this place, low elevations, high elevations. Um, more than likely, you'll see them on the higher elevations more consistently, all right? But it's also more dangerous, all right? And not for the, uh, not for the hunters looking for an easy hunt. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and sign in right here. I'm going to take off. And uh, we're going we're gonna to get at this thing. It's probably you know, a good 30 minutes at least if I'm hiking fast to get up there to where I want to be, where, I, where the goats hang out most of the time. So uh, it's about 3.30 right now. i got to hurry up and get up there before it starts uh, getting dark. It is humid. So um, there's no sun, but it's been raining out here all day, so it's very humid. And uh, I've never hunted out here when the conditions have been like this. It's usually hot and dry, maybe with a little sprinkle up high. So um, it's going to be interesting to see what the goats are doing. And I'm just anxious to get up there. Hopefully this video is helping you out if you've never been out here before. Or if you're just looking for something fun to watch uh, for hunting here on Oahu, this is what we're doing. We're hunting goats out here on the west side, the Makua Keao Valley. <sighs> All right, so we're moving our way up. Sucking wind right now. <sighs> Been going at a pretty good pace. Soaking wet. 
So one other good thing to think about bringing, which I didn't this time, extra socks, extra shirt. Oh, I did bring an extra shirt. Definitely extra socks, uh, Ziploc bags. All right, just before I left, I grabbed a Ziploc bag, all right, to throw my, uh, throw my phone in. And uh, definitely came in handy today. And I got soaking wet walking through all the grass uh, getting up up here so we're not even close to where I need to get but that's the update showing you how hard I'm breathing sweating okay and uh, we're moving up all right it's just you me and the goats today you me and the goats in this mountain I got a long ways to go Hey, so here's what we got going on. Been hiking like 30 minutes, 45 minutes, and I'm just soaked, all right? And today was one of those like, uh, you know what, I'll just put my kind of, these are halfway decent socks, but these aren't my best socks, all right? So they're like half wool, half something else. I don't know, some blend, but look at this. Look how much water I'm getting. All right? So I'm just trying to get some of that excess water about halfway up, shake out my insoles, try to get them as dry as I can, and we're gonna keep heading up, all right? Hey, if you're not in shape, if you don't like hard hunting, if you're just like sitting and waiting for the animals, this hunt is not for you, okay? This is for dudes that like hiking and like getting crazy and uh, testing themselves. So uh, yeah, testing today, everything's wet, all the vegetation's wet. So everywhere I walk, I'm collecting water. And right now it's just soaking up in my boots and uh, just taking a break and wringing it out. Let's keep at it. All right, folks, we're up here. Uh, well, I say we're up here. We still got a little bit higher to go, but we're on the mountain where uh, a good majority of the goats hang out. And it's worth it. I mean, I see some. There's two right there. I don't know if they could pick up in the, the little camera here, but they're up here. I'm hearing them. I see them. They're across there. I'm not going to be able to get to those. Those are pretty much unhuntable goats, but they'll cross up here. And there's some better hunting spots up here, but I'm going to turn the camera around. You can see the whole valley here. And I'm going to catch my breath. <laughs> Man. There's some on some cliffs right down there, a good group of them. I think 10 or 15 of them. And it's raining, so I'm gonna put the cameras away. But they're coming this way. Hey, it's pretty cool conditions out here today. Um, I was filming that cloud as it came in, sprinkled a little bit, and now you can see the valley right behind me, completely covered. Uh, yeah, pretty wild, pretty wild out here today. Awesome, awesome to get up here high. Check it out, check out nature, and just go on an adventure. It's pretty cool. Seen some goats, saw some goats on the other side, about uh, 15 of them, but then they disappeared. I'm sure they're still there somewhere. There's another hunter down there, so I'm kind of being respectful, trying to give him space, give me space, and uh, make sure we're not flying arrows at each other. But uh, check this out, check this out. The cloud, the cloud right now is coming up above me, all right? The moisture in the air right now is now moving back up, and it's about to, it's about to envelop me. Good times out here in the mountains today. Uh, hopefully it's not just uh, playing with the camera. Hopefully we actually get some, get some goat action. But I just wanted to film this, show it to you guys. Figured you'd appreciate it if you're watching this right now. It's pretty cool. And then up here behind me is up towards the top of the mountain. I'll give you a shot at that. And we're just going to sit for a while. All 
Hey, it's about uh, 5.50, and I'm just sitting down waiting for goats to come out. And uh, so I figure I'll go ahead and wring out my boots, wring out my boots one more time and uh, try to get my foot aired out a little bit. So one boot at a time. That way if any, anything comes out, I can just uh, put my one boot on real quick and try to chase some goats. But yep, that's what we got going on. <laughs> Trench foot out here chasing goats on Oahu. All right, I'm bored, so I'm talking to you. Waiting for goats to come out. Come on, goats. All right, here's what we got going on. I can see the other two hunters down below me. And they're creeping over the side, just like I was. <laughs> and we're about to look at the same goats right on the other side. I'm trying to zoom in on the hunters. You can see them right there. Okay. Now if I stand up and peek over here, you can see the goats out on that point. I can count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven from here. And I'm sure there's more. Okay, what we're gonna do is move right up here to the edge and just kind of post up and wait, see if they come this way. I'm working my way down. You see that bushy tree, that green tree right in the middle. There's like three or four right underneath there. I'm gonna keep working my way down, see if I get a shot before it's all over with. They're right underneath that tree. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys, sorry. They were there, about 40 yards. One I shot right over. Oh well, I think it's about time to wrap it up. A little bit of action there at the end. And I'll show you where I'm shooting and we'll wrap it up. Hey folks, thanks for watching. Hey, we got the nice uh, west side sunset going on out there. I missed twice. All right, it's been a while since I've been to the archery range. And that's what happens. You come out here and chasing goats in this wide open country, you're going to get long shots. Um, 
I, just, I don't think I ranged it right. I think when he, I hit him at 40 with the range finder, and then I moved, and then he moved. I left my range finder down. I figured, okay, he's still about the same distance. Took the shot. And then when he took a shot, another one hopped out. And then by that time, I was just kind of a little flustered and uh, tried to put the pin on that one. And it went right. I mean, just barely missed it. Barely. Um, but, hey, yeah, I can say I got some action, right? <laughs> So this is what we got to do. We got to walk all the way back down there. So I'm going to get started. Do that during the daylight. And uh, probably have to bust out the light uh, here in a little bit. And uh, get back to my car safely. I'm going to go slow. It's wet. And so it's probably going to take me twice as long to get down as it normally would. But as long as I get back to the car safely, that's all that matters. So um, hey, if you're out like something like this, just take your time. Okay, walk slowly. No rush. I mean, you'll get back to your car eventually, okay? But um, if you rush it or if you're just not careful and you're not paying attention, you might not ever get back to your car, okay? So we're going to go extra slow. I'm going uh, to sit on my butt if I have to slide down uh, some of the steeper areas. or so Do that kind of stuff, you know. Um, just, just be smart. Hey, sorry I couldn't close the deal, but that's why it's called hunting, not killing. I'm sure you've heard that before. So, um, hey, we're just out here enjoying the outdoors, enjoying nature, enjoying the adventure. And that's what it's all about, man. Outdoor adventures right here. Okay, so, um, hey, let's wrap it up. All right, keep watching. I'll keep posting. All right, it's time for me to shut up and start walking. Thanks, guys. All right, bye.